Welcome back everyone, it's me Matt, thanks for joining me. Today we're talking tank tactics, and particularly that of hull down positions or emplacements where tanks can dig in using their own blades to create positions. Yes, I think this is a tactic that is very underutilized in the modern world. We've seen a lot of history seeing that tanks emplace themselves, creating defensive positions, but really though, when you look at some of the footage that I'm seeing on places like Ukraine and such, Tank emplacements really aren't a thing, and I think a big part of that comes down to tactics are now coming into the sky. We're using drones, we're using top-down attack munitions, but the hold down position is certainly something that is very beneficial for tank crews on tank and tank engagements. Now, we're not seeing as many true tank on tank engagements as the traditional sense where hundreds and hundreds clash between one another in either a defensive or an attacking posture. But what I find fascinating is how a lot of tanks exist out there, pretty much every single one you've seen in the video so far in the game War Thunder, which by the way is just a really good visual aid when talking about this video. But what I'm seeing is that a lot of the tanks that have these capabilities just aren't using them. Now I know a lot of main battle tanks can have attachment placed onto them, hydraulic units with their own bulldozer blades, but things like this beautiful T-80 have integrated plows, integrated digging capability to create their own hull down position. And this is something I think is fascinating because when a tank has its ability to literally spoon dig its own hole into where it can hide, it adds a huge game changer to the battlefield. Now, in a more dynamic situation where drones are available and there's a fast paced engagement, 360 degree threat instead of sort of a cold war head on head on engagement, it's not as applicable. But what I do love is that tanks do have this capability of digging their own little trenches. As you saw at the very, very beginning of the video, the T-90 digging its own hull down position. I think this is something that should be standard across all tanks. And what we see a lot of is primarily, and I say primarily, Eastern tanks, you know, Russian, Soviet main battle tanks tend to have this capability because they knew fine well that if they need to go head to head in the Cold War, they would need to be able to dig in defensive positions to take on the more sophisticated and I would say technologically advanced main battle tanks of the Western world where they had a lot longer range of capabilities and sighting systems to capture these tanks. With a hold down position like this TAED's digging right now, it's only exposing that turret. And having that blade to do that instead of having to request engineering vehicles to come in, I think is really, really cool. It's a unique feature I think all tanks should have. Now, I'm not sure of the detrimental effects of having a bulldozer blade under your hull could have to things like IEDs or reduce space for potentially more belly plate armor, things like that. But I do think it should be something that is just standardized across main battle tank battle groups. Now, as I said, attachments can be made, but they bring their own problems, right? Most of them are, tend to be, for the most part, a hydraulically linked and exposed positions to shrapnel and small arms, you know, hoses getting burst, things like that. But these ones that have them integrated into the tank, they're designed to host the bulldozer blade to make those tank ditches. And not only are they designed to, you know, create hull down positions, they can take, take out obstacles, clear mines, um, dig for the infantry, because <laughs> there's nothing nicer to see than an engineering vehicle that can dig your trench in five minutes than what would take a platoon of troops about four or five hours or potentially longer depending on the terrain you're on. So I think it's a tactic I'm not seeing very much of, mainly because I think most of the time the dynamic movement of things like Ukraine is so heavily emphasized on in no static positions. You know, you don't want to be firing in the same place because drones, etc. But I think honestly, Western tanks should capitalize more on being able to have a integrated dozer blade or some form of blade that can dig up that entrenched position and give you a hold down position right away because you know as a high strung vehicle like a leopard 2 or an abrams or a challenger 2 they're pretty high if we had that blade integrated into the vehicle future variants to just dig a channel down there give you a really nice hold down position instantaneously without having to pull in the crafts or the uh, the arvs i think it's a really cool feature let me know what you think do you think i'm a little out to lunch here do you think this is completely pointless do you think this is an uh, a tactic or a situation that doesn't apply anymore let me know in the comment section below i would love to hear your opinion on this thanks for watching everyone and i hope to hear from you and uh, see you in the next video all the best bye bye